This lesson will be about geometric series. So I've shown here a geometric series, and what this series is, is we take some number z, and we just add up all powers of this number. So we have 1 plus z plus c squared plus c cubed and on forever. And so this is a particular example of an infinite series. And today, what we're going to do is prove this formula. So we're going to prove that this series sum over all n z to the n is equal to 1 divided by 1 minus z if the absolute value of z is less than 1. So if the absolute value of z is less than 1, then this infinite series converges, and it converges to this value, 1 divided by 1 minus z. So that's our goal for today. Now, as usual, when we're studying infinite series, our main tool to analyze these is the partial sums. So let's look at the partial sum. So we define this sum. We fix some number capital N, and we just take the terms in the series up to capital N. And it'll be useful for us to write this out in detail. So we have 1 plus c plus c squared plus dot 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 all the way up to z to the capital N power. And the trick that we'll use to evaluate this is to now multiply by another factor of z. So if we do this, it's easy to see what happens. So we now have the sum of z to the lowercase n plus 1. And we can write this sum out in detail. And we have z plus z squared plus dot 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 plus z to the capital N plus z to the capital N plus 1. And now what we're going to do is to just subtract these two expressions. So let's form the difference. Sn minus z times Sn. And to see what it is, let's go back to our expressions here. So Sn has a z in it, but it cancels with the z in z times Sn. The z squared in Sn cancels with the z squared in z times Sn. And these cancellations go all the way up to z to the n. And so the only terms we're left with are this z to the n plus 1 and the 1 here. So when we do this subtraction, the result is just 1 minus z to the n plus 1. And now we can rewrite this like this, 1 minus z times sn is equal to 1 minus z to the n plus 1. And then by rearranging, we can divide by 1 minus z. And so we get a closed form expression for sn. one minus z to the n plus 1 divided by 1 minus z. So this is a very important formula, and it's the formula that's going to allow us to prove our main formula for this geometric series. So now the key observation is the following. As n goes to infinity, so as we include more and more terms in our partial sum, z to the n plus 1 goes to 0 if the absolute value of z is less than 1. And that's just because if you take a number that's less than 1 and you raise it to higher and higher powers, it eventually approaches 0. So this means that as n goes to infinity, so as a consequence of this, 
as n goes to infinity, Sn approaches a value S equal to 1 divided by 1 minus z if z is less than 1. So the end result is that if absolute value of z is less than 1, then our series, our geometric series, converges to this value s equal to 1 divided by 1 minus z. And that completes this lesson.